Good afternoon, everyone. It's been a while since I posted anything. The last video I did post was uh, that one about uh, pouring those pilings. Over the last few weeks, I've been pouring some more pilings, but this time a little bit differently. Instead of filling uh, probably about nine or ten piles with uh, one load of concrete, I could fill one pile with one load of concrete, and that was loading up to the max. We were able to uh, deliver aggregates on site, so we would just come in the morning with a full bin of cement powder. On a full bin of cement powder, I could probably do, uh, I could do about 10 or 11 meters of concrete. So on a normal load, you would only have five or six meters worth of cement powder in there, so there's a lot of bin unused. But here, we would fill it right up and then fill our water tank right up too. And same with the water tank, it's only about half to three quarters full on a normal load. So having both of those filled right up, we would just uh, load our aggregates on site. That would allow us to get anywhere from uh, 10 to 11 meters off of one load, which is what it took to fill one pile. So if you want to see what I'm talking about, stay tuned, uh, subscribe to the channel, and hit that like button, and here it is. So this is the drilling rig that's used. These piles are getting drilled uh, around 13 meters, which is right around 40 feet, I believe. So he just goes down, drills a little ways, and then he has to pull it up and shake off the dirt, and that's how he gets the dirt out. And all he does is gives it a little spin, and all the dirt flies off, and he goes back for another one. This is a pipe that they have to put into the hole if there's water coming in or if the sides are sloughing in. Then you have to put a pipe in there to uh, hold the sides while they drill through the pipe and keep going down. And that'll protect the hole from sloughing in. Not all the piles need, need the pipe, just the ones that start sloughing in or water starts coming in. Then you have to put the pipe in. And then you have to put a smaller bit on, which you see on the skid steer there. That can drill through the pipe and continue going down. Here you see them drilling through the pipe. Pretty tight fit. Now this you see here is a belling tool. So the bottom of the piles that get a bell shape, it increases the footprint in the bottom to. Uh, hold more weight I guess. So you'll see here the, the shape that the bottom of the pile gets when the sides open up like that. You get a bell shape. That's the shape of the bottom of the pile then. And then the dirt goes inside as he scrapes it up. When he comes back up, the dirt goes inside and he can pull up a little bit of dirt at a time. You can see here the inside of the belling tool is full of dirt. So he'll just open that up and give it a spin and that'll just remove the dirt. These are the rebar cages that go in. They go down the full length of the pile. 
Here you see the rebar cage being lifted up and they'll drop it down and then I'll pour concrete in as soon as the rebar cage is in. see that vibrator in there now. He's just vibrating the top flat and that'll be the height of the concrete. He just has to get a get a level on it or check the height yet. And that's what this here is. Just put that on there and they have marks on that pole and they look through transit to look at the they see the marks and they can ensure the proper height of the concrete. The next video I'll show the loading of the truck and I'll show some more pouring of the concrete as well.